All right, guys, so I got some good news and some bad news. Uh, the grass is starting to recover. You can see it's all poking through, which is great. Uh, but not all the bugs are gone. As some people pointed out, they've had better success with other products. Uh, I honestly just grabbed the, the first thing I could find, the easiest thing I could find. I'm gonna be getting uh, different products to try to kill these guys off completely. It did help a little bit. I think the, uh, the population has reduced. Anyways, the, the point of this video is to show you how you can actually uh, spot the bugs a little bit easier. So, you know, the old timers use coffee cans, but we don't really got coffee cans anymore. So I just took this protein uh, bottle thing and I'm gonna pick this stuff up. I just did it here. I'm gonna try right here. Now, I have found them in the dead area, but as some of you commented, obviously they're gonna be moving towards the green stuff. So when you're doing the test, you wanna do it. I just figure if I could find a bug here, it's a lot easier to show you than trying to show you inside that. But this, I should be able to show you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it there and then fill it up with water and they all float to the top, which is kinda neat, but kinda gross because there's a lot more than uh, I thought there were. All right, we got the water going. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, why is the hose always just... Ah. All right, filling up with water. Now, you don't have to fill it up all the way, but I'm going to just so it gives me time to try to... Oh. All right. Um. All right, you can see one here, there, there, couple there. Uh, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder if, uh, I can catch one. All right. I might have squished it. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, there we go. He's crawling around. So these are the little guys. You can see the wings on it are uh, white. But uh, yeah, they're, oh, and it blew away. Oh, uh, just a quick feedback. There are more than one type of chinch bug. So uh, I did get some feedback, people saying, oh, you don't have chinch bugs up north. There is a version called the hairy chinch bug, which is up in the Northeast and in Canada. And I looked at the pictures, that appears to be the type that I have. Um, obviously I'm not a chinch bug expert, so maybe it's a different type than that, but it seems to be fitting the description. It also said that uh, chin hairy chinch bugs like Kentucky bluegrass, which is what I have. I have a all Kentucky bluegrass. All right, so I got a product to put down. Uh, last time I used just a generic insecticide, um, but this is the stuff you wanna use. Bifenthrin or bifenthrin, bifenthrin. Um, but yeah, Leb Lebanon sells it. There's other brands, uh, but it looks like uh, this kind of plain Jane. You can see a big bug on there. Um, chinch bugs is listed. This stuff will work really good. This bag was like $27 and it will cover 25,000 square feet. So it's really inexpensive. I'm doing the granular kind today. You can get it liquid. Um, if you're in Rhode Island, I recommend checking out Allen C. That's where I got this from. Uh, they're really helpful even if you're the, just a homeowner. Um, so I know it's, it's kind of a drive, but if you want to put down something, get it down quick, you don't want to wait for shipping, or you're just unsure of what to apply, uh, I like going to Allen C because they, they know a lot. And uh, we're gonna, all sorts of weird noise today. I'm gonna put it down and uh, I'm gonna do the whole yard and try to get it into the flower beds and everything just because I wanna, I wanna get this done. Since that whole thing does about 25,000 square feet, 
I need to put less than half in here. The, the remaining stuff I'm gonna put into a five gallon bucket, seal it up, keep it nice and dry, and it'll be good for next year. Um, and yeah, for setting, I'm gonna be doing it about here. Shout out to uh, Echo for sending me replacement knobs. Uh, you guys saw in one of the videos, I flung the knob off. Don't be crazy like me, just unscrew it a little bit and then slide it. I just, I like spinning stuff and uh, whoop, all the way off. So anyways, let's get going. So if you see just how tiny, for reference, how tiny those little granules are, so I'm actually gonna put it down further. Um, you can see here, for recommendation, fine control is one to 10. Now if it's bigger pellet size, you're gonna wanna open it up more. But since it's so small, I'm gonna bring this down to about here. And we'll go with that. I'll do the front and then back and if there's anything left over i'll go over the front again because i want that much product down um, but i'm not exactly sure i haven't used this spreader on material like that so i don't for sure know Alright guys, there you go. No more chinch bugs. I gotta say for the first time in my life the timing was spot on. Just starting to have a light shower to water it in. Awesome. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.